Hi, Sandra Espinosa here, designing sewers teacher and sewing blogger and creator of the Everyday Sewing Skill Set. I'm known for my attention to detail, and that can be of a process in sewing, of a specific design detail in sewing, the way something actually looks while it's being sewn and after it's sewn. So I'm happy to have you here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the progression of a skirt that I've been working on. And you might remember from a previous episode about lining that we was that I was working on this fabric and it's actually mostly sewn together. I really love these pleats and how those turned out. So I think that the lining was the right weight. And so that's just an FYI and an update on how the lining was working out there. The hems are done on both the lining and the skirt. I need to finish the waistband facing and insert my zipper. So the zipper is next in this installation, but I just want to talk to you. This is kind of a psychedelic fabric that I found and I really liked it, but I had talked in a previous episode about the color that I had picked for the inside. So you can check that video out, but I think it's kind of funny. This is the skirt of many colors, including the color of thread that I chose to use to sew this together. So just real quick on the color of thread, you can see that there's a bright green, a a really bright blue, kind of a dark sky blue or a cerulean, and then some purples and magentas. And so it's a really vivid color palette. But when I went to my rack of thread back there that you can see, I couldn't find a thread that looked like it would do well with this fabric, especially when I'd be stitching in a ditch or having any of the hem stitching, the blind hem stitching showing up. So I ended up finding a thread that was kind of in between of all of the colors in this palette. And it's almost like it blended together and it camouflaged itself within the whole palette of colors here. I embarked on something new when I picked this color thread to work with, but it's all that I had on my rack and I just wanted to get this project done and, and it ended up being a really good learning experience for me. So I encourage you, if you have a really small scale and busy color palette to maybe look at a color of thread that's kind of in between those colors and find one that maybe will work better than if you picked or isolated one of these specific colors. For instance, if I had chosen that magenta, little magenta dots would be showing up at the hemline where I might have been sewing on blue. And so that magenta would really pop out. And that might have been the thing I would have chosen because my lining was pink. And again, you can refer to that video and learn about those shenanigans. But I just want to say that it's a good option for you to stick with the majority of colors within the palette. So in this fabric, it's greens and blues are the majority colors within the print. So I went with an in-between color a color in between green and blue, and it really worked well to camouflage itself between both colors. So now back to picking the zipper. This calls for an invisible zipper. So I took this to the fabric store to match it and find out what would camouflage well against this. And so you can look at this photograph and see the only two colors of zipper that were even in the palette that were available in the length that I needed or even close to a color that was available in a color that was within the palette at all. And so these are the only two that would work. So between this burgundy color and this blue, I went ahead and just opened up the zipper packet and placed it onto my scrap of fabric to check it. And that's really important. You don't have to be tied to or worry when you go to make decisions like that. Just, and it's not like you're taking the zipper off of the packaging itself. But just slip out the portion of zipper that you need to, to check it before you buy it and then try to go back and sew the thing on. And so it just made the most sense within the palette, within those only two choices that I had to work with in the limited selection that was still available at the store. This was the best option. So. I have the most psychedelic skirt I think that I've ever sewn in my life with a blue zipper, this crazy vintage fine fabric, and 
my bright pink lining. So I'm excited to sew this together and show you more about how that turned out. I hope to give you more information on how to do some of these things and make wise decisions before you sew and while you're sewing. And if you want to learn more, you can check out my website, ethelandi.com. Thanks so much for watching and remember to sew with intention because every stitch you make matters.